Somewhere in the course of time, there lies Isranasa, a world blessed by peace and tranquility. Surrounded by seas of sparkling cobalt, the lands of Isranasa were once divided among five kingdoms, Farlane, Wingard, Norland, Sordis, and Mortavia. Of the five, Farlane prospered under the rule of King Cole and the Just. But it was a prosperity that ended on the night of the seventh moon when Farlane's capital, Sylvan, was unexpectedly invaded by a horde of savage monsters. Battered and confused from the surprise attack, the soldiers of Farlane were unable to prevent the monsters from entering the castle walls. Despite the seemingly hopeless situation, Farlane prevailed. And by the break of dawn, not a monster remained standing. However, the joys of victory were short-lived. For King Corwin was dead, leaving Farlane without a leader. Shortly thereafter, Baron Drax assumed the regency in place of Prince Logan, Corwin's son, who was considered to be too young to inherit the throne. To ensure the safety of the young prince, Logan was sent to the village of exile on the Isle of Glen. There, he was to stay until his 16th birthday when he could finally be crowned king. That was ten years ago. Fine morning to you, my lord. Good morning, Elias. Ah, my dear Prince Logan. I understand from the gate guards that you're still indulging in slime bashing. I hardly think that such a childish pastime befits one who is destined to inherit the throne in just two more months. As I've said time and time again, the future is shaped by knowledge. I'm sure you'll agree that your time would be better spent in study rather than chasing those ghastly green jelly globs. Now, if you'll pardon me for a moment, I'll go and get my books so that we can commence with your studies.
Mr. Slogan, wake up! We're under attack, my lord! Monsters everywhere! There's not a moment to lose! Please arm yourself and follow me! This way, my lord, through the secret passage. Wait, what about you? We're right behind you, my lord. Now hurry, there's no time to waste. What's going on, Elias? Open the door. I'm afraid we're a bit outnumbered, my lord. Though it's been some time since I've lifted a sword, I'm sure I can hold off a few of the beasties while you make good your escape. Let me help. You can, my lord, by not wasting another minute arguing with me. Go to Castle Sylvan. Send back reinforcements. We'll hold out until they arrive. Now go! I'll be back, Elias. I'll be back. Lord Drax, I bring you Prince Lugin. <laughs> ah, my dear Prince, welcome to Castle Sylvan. 
Drax. What's the meaning of this? I'm glad we were able to catch you before you wandered around the city. After all, you are one of the dearly departed. Dearly departed? <laughs> departed, expired, passed away, take your pick. The point is you were supposed to have perished when the monsters attacked exile. At least that's what I've got the kingdom believing. What's more, since you're no longer with us, I've humbly offered to sacrifice my time and accept the crown in your place. Aside from the inconvenient fact that you're still alive, a situation that I will soon remedy, all goes according to plan. At least your father, the late King Corwin, had the sense to stay deceased when I arranged the last monster attack ten years ago. Of course, it probably helped that I did the job myself, rather than leaving things in the hands of those clumsy monsters. Oh well, please understand that it's nothing personal, but I would like to take you out of the picture once and for all. Unfortunately, securing my position as sovereign involves marriage with your mother, the lovely Queen Sylvia. To date, she hasn't agreed to my proposal. But if I throw your life into the deal, I'm sure she'll find me to be a worthy husband. So, for now, I offer you a pleasant night in our rat-infested dungeons. Take him away. Logan, praise the Seeker you're still alive. And who might you be? Ethan, my lord. I'm a friend. I've come to free you. Just lead me to Drax, and I'll put an end to his evil designs once and for all. Out of the question, dear prince. He's too well guarded. Your first priority is to get out of here in one piece. Live to fight another day. Now follow me.
Ethan, old buddy. I see you managed to spring the prince from the royal pigsty. Who is this overdressed fellow? Marcus, my lord. A good for nothing. Ignore him and he might go away. Yeah, I heard that. Listen, your highness. I'm sure you need all the help you can get, and I'm willing to give you a hand. But me being a level 7 spellcaster, I got my pride. I can't serve under somebody who's any less than level 6, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'll see you around.